Hello everyone, and of course, Happy New Year. All the best wishes with 2023, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at the Mac Pro from 2008. A viewer requested to see how it would perform playing modern games. So, without further ado, let's find out. Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's take a look at our system first. This is a pretty box standard Mac Pro 2008 with dual Xeon quad-core E5462s running at 2.8 GHz. Our memory is 20 GB of DDR2 running at 667 megatransfers per second, and they are fully buffered DIMMs. Our storage is comprised of two 500 gig SATA SSDs. The graphics card is an AMD Radeon RX 570 with 8 GB of VRAM, and our operating system is Windows 10 Pro 22H2. For a short physical overview of the machine, we have a power input with a very powerful PSU in there, about 930 watts. We have a USB 3 card installed, the RX 570 with all of its connections. And in terms of onboard I.O., we have three USB 2, Firewire 400 and 800, optical audio, 3.5mm jacks and dual gigabit Ethernet. The RX 570 graphics card is installed in its PCIe slot. It's running at 2x speed, so bandwidth is somewhat limited and with the appropriate adapter from 6-pin to 8-pin, it will be powered by the onboard PSU without any issues. This is not a very power-hungry card. There are only two 6-pin power connectors on the board, so you are somewhat limited in terms of the cards that you can use in these. Looking at the games that were tested, there is also uh, a number of games that we've tried, but we weren't able to get running. Notably, Doom Eternal, which didn't launch at all, same as Call of Duty Warzone 2, due to the CPU being thoroughly underpowered and not supporting the correct feature sets, and Fortnite and Valheim, which were able to actually launch and load into the menu just fine, even pretty quickly at that, but couldn't join the uh, worlds respectively for the uh, matches. So uh, yeah, the games we were able to launch were Battlefield 5, F122, Fallout 76, Doom 2016, Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto 5, and CSGO. All footage was captured directly from the Mac Pro, and uh, yeah, let's get started with the benchmarks. The first game we're testing is Battlefield 5. At 1080p, low details in a multiplayer match. The game type is Conquest and the map is Eris. As you can see, uh, we're uh, barely getting the magical 30 FPS mark for some playability. But the minimum of FPS suggests, and the, the frame times as well, I can tell you, uh, that it's quite hitchy, and it is. It doesn't make a lot of difference between low and medium details. Overall, it's just impressive that the game can run at all. In single-player matches, the gameplay is somewhat better, with FPS uh, ranging from 40 to 60 at times. Jumping into our next game, F1 2022, or F1 22, at the track of Monza in Italy, we can see that uh, this game runs remarkably well as well on this old Mac Pro. We're getting an average FPS of 54 and a minimum of 37. Every now and then it does look somewhat hitchy here and there, but the percentile figures don't really show that all that much. I don't have a very uh, reliable way of capturing frame times as of yet. Uh, we'll look into that in the future. But uh, yeah, overall, it looks very playable at medium settings. Um, upping detail level to high, the FPS will go down to an average of around 50, and minimums will go into the high 20s. So it is recommended to stick to the medium detail level. And after all that racing, it's time for another shooter in Fallout 76. At the 1080p low settings, we're getting around 30 FPS. The minimums are around 21. It sits in the low 20s most of the time, and if you look away, you can get into the lower 40s, and that will average out eventually to around 30 FPS. It's not really all that playable, though. Dropping the detail, or actually, uh, setting the detail settings to high, you'll lose about 5 FPS average. Makes it even hitchier than it is already. Not really a playable experience on this system. The next game in the list is Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft. Once I booted up the game, this uh, machine really wasn't having it. But after calming down, we got a decent frame rate. Average of 95, a minimum of 46 at 1080p with 16 render chunks set up. Minecraft was a good experience on this system. The next game is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I couldn't use the MSI overlay and Fraps wasn't working either, so I couldn't really get any uh, representative results. 
in terms of average frame rates and frame times. But what I can say from the overall experience is that it's, it's a bit hitchy, so the percentiles are definitely not great. It is playable though, even at very high or at low settings, both will work just fine. I went with very high, so the GPU had some more work to do. And uh, it is a somewhat playable experience, although I'm not really sure if you would like to do this competitively, because it's, it's just uh, too inconsistent for that. And the last game that was captured in this way is Grand Theft Auto V, at 1080p very high settings. Lowering the details didn't do a whole lot, so we decided to go with the very high preset. Doing the benchmark, the first three passes complete just fine, but the third pass is notably heavier and more representative of actual gameplay. What we see is that the gameplay uh, is somewhat hitchy and the frame rate really tanks as soon as there's explosions and a lot of AI around, and that really shows the CPU bottleneck that the system has. We're stuck at uh, about uh, 45 FPS average and a minimum of 20, which really shows uh, how poor the overall experience is. Overall, the game does not feel playable to me. All right, so this is the big surprise of the show. This is Doom 2016 running on a 2008 Mac Pro. We've just uh, set all the settings up. We're now at 1080p Ultra settings, running the Vulkan API. And you're probably expecting me to say that Vulkan is going to be the savior of the old computer. Uh, I'm afraid not. Um, I tried a couple of other games to force them into Vulkan, but they performed either the same, didn't launch, or performed worse. Um, the best optimized game that I ever saw with Vulkan is Doom 2016. And here we are in the game now. Again, Ultra settings. In Doom 2016, this actually still meant Ultra. In Doom Eternal, Ultra is, well, medium. Now we need to see if we can kill some bastards. Get some more glory kills. FPS is still around 60. And this is your arcade mode. Smash that imp in the face. Oh, yeet. These are just bastards. Come on. Get shrekt. Yeah, this is perfectly playable. This is a great experience. And to think, this is a machine from 2008. They did a good job with this game. They really did. I'm just not doing a very good job because I'm using a shitty Apple keyboard from 2000. Because I didn't have any other USBs laying around. That's just my dumbass. Anyway, let's beat this guy up. Oh yeah, now we're running at 80 FPS. This is great. This is a really good experience. This really was the big surprise when I started testing games uh, on this old Mac Pro. After a viewer suggested me to give this a try. I was disappointed though that Doom Eternal wouldn't run, considering it's more or less the same engine, but that game really just didn't want to boot up, which was a big shame. I was really hoping to see some good results, because this game is running at 90 FPS. Couldn't, couldn't have been much worse, I would say, on Doom Eternal. But anyway, um, that really concludes uh, the part of uh, Doom over here, running at, well, 8200 FPS. Really awesome experience. And with that out of the way, that concludes this video. We've seen that the Mac Pro 2008 can start a couple of modern games, but the very latest stuff just will not start due to the old CPU architecture. Which is a shame, but it is just the fact. This machine is now 14 years old, almost 15, and it has really done uh, very, very well over the last couple of years. And this experience was pretty cool overall, despite some of the angry Mac noises. But other than that, this was uh, definitely a fun experiment. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.